Welcome to Holiday Stress Effects Part 1. Why do I feel this way? That's the name of our webinar today. And we're going to be talking about how you can avoid stress, well, as best you can, this holiday season. Because we all know the stress of trying to buy enough gifts for everybody, trying to stay within the budget to get those gifts. You've become overcommitted to certain functions. Everybody has a party you want to attend. We're going to try to get you through the holiday season feeling stressed free stress-free, I should say. And um, I'm Brooke Beasley. With me today is Sally Kerr. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Well, Sally has so many different credentials behind her name. I would be here for 10 minutes just listing them all if I tried to list them all. But Sally has been with OT Health and Wellness Center for years. Almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. Yeah. She has been a nurse here for many of those years. She has a, a personal trainer license behind her name. She's a nutritionist and she has a plethora of knowledge in that brain of hers and I can't wait to to pick it to see what we can find um, solutions that we can find and offer our uh, viewers today to stay stressed free this holiday season. And this is something you might not know, maybe you do, um, but 75 percent of all doctor's visits are stress related. That blows my mind. Tell me a little bit about that and how can that be the case? Absolutely. You can almost always tie something back to a stressful event. It's just um, amazing. And we're going to talk about some more of those, those things that happen to your body and what makes you end up in the doctor's office because of stress. It's, it, it's unbelievable how stress can really be that re related to that many medical issues, to those many re medical issues. Right, because there is stress coming at you from so many directions. There is job stress, there's yep. teen stress, baby stress, oh, you new mothers, oh my goodness, uh, marital stress, so you're a newlywed, uh-oh, you I have know. to learn how to live with somebody else. That's um, right. So there's that, and there's also wedding stress, so you not only had the stress of the wedding, now you have to learn how to live, live with somebody with the else. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's new home stress, there's new oh, car yeah. stress. There, what we're talking about right now is not only those things, but also Christmas stress. And the holiday Thanksgiving season. stress, because we have all of that coming on right now. So it's stress, stress, stress. It's simply causing thousands of stress-related illnesses every day. Wow. It makes sense that our attitudes and thoughts toward the very idea of stress can have an influence on our reactions and how we deal with uh, demanding and stressful situations. Unbelievable. Well, I want to know how, um, how the body reacts to stress but first I also want to ask you what stress is let's just give let's just give it a definition of stress right because we all say it well, yeah I'm everybody stressed. I'm stressed I'm so out, stressed out. Yeah. Uh, but stress is actually it can be a good thing it's the way your body responds to the environment so that doesn't sound mm. so bad um, it's how your body reacts to the things you see hear taste smell feel every day so it's a normal physical response to events that can make you feel threatened or upset your balance in some way. So your ears are constantly listening, listening for danger. Your eyes right. are looking for danger. Right. Um, whether it's real or imagined, the body's defenses kick into high gear in a rapid automatic process known as that fight or flight re reaction. I've heard it. It's yep. also called the stress response. So it's, it's that, it's that um, time when that mom pulled the car off of her baby. She, there's no way that she had enough strength was, to lift a ton, you know, a ton absolutely. of weight off of her child. But it's those hormones that, that are released when you are under that kind of and stress. And you actually almost do turn into superwoman or yeah. superman. Yeah. Um, and it's because of that flood of adrenal hormones that, that your body says, we have to react. We've got to do this. Right. You don't even think about it. You just react. Right. Um, so whenever you perceive a threat, your nervous system responds by releasing a flood of those stress hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol. And so these hormones rouse the body for emergency action. Um, your heart pounds faster, your breath quickens, your mm -hmm. blood pressure goes up, and your senses become sharper. These physical changes increase your strength and stamina. They speed your reaction time and enhance your focus. You almost get just laser beam focus. So it prepares you to either fight or flee from the danger at hand. So the stress response is a good thing. It's your body's way of protecting you. Ah, absolutely. never heard of it that way, but I guess it's true when you put it in that sense. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's natural and it's, it's good in some mm -hmm. instances. It gives you the strength to defend yourself, for example, or spurring you to, like in Houston traffic, to slam on the brakes. That's that stress response. Right. That kicks in. You don't think, oh, maybe I should put on the brakes, right? No. Nope. You just kick Immediate. in, boom, slam on those brakes. So that's another stress we could add to that list, <laughs> list is just Houston traffic. Traffic. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But stress also, it keeps you on your toes, like for this presentation. 
I got a little bit stressed out, but it's good <laughs> because it keeps me sharp. Uh, right. And it also sharpens your concentration if you're playing golf and you're trying to make that make that shot. Um, or it also drives you to study if you're having to like study for an exam yep. and you don't want to, that, that stress hormone kicks in. And I wonder if that's why I always tell myself I'm a procrastinator but I work better that way. It's probably because the stress kicks in, I know I have to get it done, and so you get focused, you get concentrated. Absolutely. So your body pumps out a little adrenaline and cortisol, uh -huh. and so really you, you've got to do that at that point right. in time. So you've pushed yourself to the limit, and now you've got to do it.